25 seconds, people. I won't lie. I haven't played Destiny in about two or three seasons, maybe longer. I haven't been on the hype train. I've been told by a few of my pals I need to get back into it. Watch and react to the, the Witch Queen reveal. You'll get hyped and I just can't see it myself, but here we go. We may as well. I have been told as well, a lot on Twitter over the past week. Guardians. Uh, that it's looking good. The future's looking good. So we'll see, people. We'll see. Years ago, or if it just started today. This game is in our blood. The Destiny team is full of Destiny fans. Folks who came here because Destiny Ooh, was, was on that screen bond. then. Folks who log out from work in the evening and log in to play with their clan. The team we have today is committed to relentlessly upgrading this game that we all love. We aren't happy with just another mission. Instead, we want to push to be the honest, limit Sponges of quality reveals are always you can great. expect in an action MMO with uniquely Destiny experiences Can't lie like about Sponge that. and Presage. We are committed to delivering the best mission content that you can play in any game with a friend and having the best feeling action game, period. See, it's been that long since I played people. I haven't even played Vorglass. <laughs> in the passion that we see for Destiny 2. I haven't even played Vorglass. Since we declared independence two years ago, the Destiny community has grown by over 20 million new Jeez, players. Since they sacked off Activision. Than we ever could have predicted. We're grateful to be a part of this amazing growing community that you all have created. You represent Destiny. You help make it better every year, and you are Maybe so my D1 welcoming days. and supportive of every new guardian that sets foot in the tower. And only a handful of us are going to be up here today. Most of them are in their homes, at their desks, working hard to bring the next part of Destiny to life. It's a huge honor representing such an incredible well, team. That keyboard was so and sick. And the next chapter of Destiny 2. So, without further ado, this is the Witch Oh, Queen. let's go, people. Let's go. Got a little few goosebumps then. Hey, it's Mothbird, what's her name? Let's have a spoon. She's gonna attack you and eat your curtains. Truth is a funny thing. I could Does it live in the world? Or in the mind. So I feel Rose is going out of his mouth. I cut her away, looking a bit hot. <laughs> or can it be bent? Who decides what is true in this universe of light and dark? There One of those. No what a little ghost. Power. Tell me, little lights. What is your truth now? They do make a good cinematic, don't they? They always have. Uh, what is going on here? And he's high, being brought back to life. By hive ghosts. Muff Queen! Hold up a minute. So if they've got light, they will have power. Hold up. Hold up, did you see that then? The right side of the one was void. The left was a uh, uh, soul and I'm sure sent to his arc. Are you telling me? Are you telling me the hive have got powers? Oh my god, what? James. Safathun is serious. What? I think she's the most dangerous villain we faced yet. Seven years we've been building. I'm actually tweeting moment, at the same time, guys. Finally <laughs> stepping into the spotlight and showing us who she really is. What we know about light and darkness is proving to be way more complex than what we previously thought. There are so many lies, truths, and revelations that we're going to get to in the Witch Queen and the year leading up wow, to it. She looks I mean, we're mean though, isn't it? She all looks the way back mean. To origins, and we're supporting it with the best content that Destiny has to offer. Definitely, and we've got a lot of awesome content to show oh, cool. today. Let's start with the most mysterious destination yet. Yeah. Sabathun's throne world. This is an uncharted wonder of secrets and lies. It's this place that she's created in her own image, the surreal and majestic light blessed world. She has this castle that she rules from. It overlooks this dark swampy underbelly with this lone pyramid ship out there. It's the future world she wanted to create 
built atop the darkness that she left behind. Man. In Throne Worlds, they're a deep part of Destiny lore. Powerful entities create these pocket universes, and when the we're there, of it. we have to play by their rules. But now, what is he holding? our own light powers are being used against us. I mean, she has this whole army of hive that she's ascended to the oh, light my days. and brought along with her. Her light powers these are being used are against hive us. Guardians, and they are the hive guardians. New army. We've talked a lot. Let's show what Let's take the people first am I watching here? Gameplay. Savathun, the Sava Spoon. Hive God of Cunning and Lies. After the death of her brother Oryx. Oh, such a good raid. Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course. But out of strategy. <laughs> In her greatest trick yet. Stealing our most sacred. Looks good, people, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Oh shit. Oh my days. The hive have powers. A throw just did a blade barrage. That's it, I'm out of here. That is enough internet for me for what day? What is going on? What is going on? He's got a pokey pokey spear sword thing. Oh, that's sick. That's so sick. That's so sick. I cannot wait just to reach out and just crush it. 22nd of February. Yeah, I mean, we've been defined by the light for so long. 2022. This is uncharted territory for us. I mean, we're in strange new places. Like, the throne world, it's haunting, but it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. See, it's, what she, it's hard not to be hyped. It's hard not to be hyped. and her lucent brood. This is the biggest threat Guardians have faced yet, so we need to find new weapons to match their power. Oh, okay, here we go. The Glaive. The Glaive. I love this thing. It's brutal and elegant. It's this new energy weapon with melee abilities, mid-range projectiles, and defensive capabilities. It's our first ever first-person melee weapon, and it is what such an awesome tool for the battlefield. So we got a, so good. a sword Just jump in and unleash these brutal that melee shoots. combos and transition right that's to an sick. energy blast. That's sick. It's really powerful and Combining has a lot shotguns of and swords together, so, eh? We've told you about what the glaive can do. <laughs> now let's talk about how you're going to get your hands on uh, it. Free peek with it. These weapons don't come out of chests at the end of missions and you're not going to find one roaming around the throne world. Your first glaive is not going to be found. It's going to be built. Yes. What? Weapon crafting is coming to Destiny 2. <gasps> Now, chasing weapons has been an integral part of the Destiny Pursuit game since Weapon the beginning. Crafting. And over the years, we've added more deterministic paths to get the roles that you want on guns. Think things like umbral engrams and the raid chest. Weapon crafting unlocks the freedom to choose all that and more. It gives us ultimate control over the guns. <laughs> now, this is combat focus crafting. <laughs> really? System. That means the more you use these weapons, the more objectives you complete with them, the more you level them up, and the more powerful Are they grow Are you shitting over time. me? And at launch, here's the awesome thing. You'll be able to craft all Throne World weapons, new raid weapons, and the seasonal weapons. There's just so a ton of stuff to do with the system. The weapon, the more you the use it, the better it gets. Just the beginning of weapon crafting. I mean, I've wanted that from to like add more craftable weapons, both legacy and new. Like forever. We've seen and we've talked about a lot of really cool features, but let's get right into the meat of it. Let's talk about the Witch Queen campaign. Wow, that's unreal. Honestly, that is unreal. There's Muff Woman. Campaigns. They've always been a cornerstone of the Destiny experience. They're rich, deep stories interwoven with big combat sequences and memorable characters. They take us to remote worlds in our ever-changing universe. And so we're putting extra care into the campaign for the Witch Queen. We want you to feel those goosebumps when you step onto the throne world for the first time and come face to face with Hive Guardians. And every one of them wow. has its own fantasy. Like, what does it feel like to so like go straight to the depths it. of hell? If you like games with standalone campaigns like Doom, Titanfall 2, God of War, oh, and Halo, Titanfall the Witch Queen 2, is best campaign you. ever. Most underrated campaign ever. Legendary challenges so, await. Okay. In addition to our classic normal mode, 
Legendary is our tougher, aspirational version of the campaign, where the enemies hit harder and respawning is heavily restricted. So every battle is a gut punch. Every boss is a worthy adversary. It's gonna hurt. I you like might tap out. But if you persist and you get to the end, your time will be well rewarded. Whether you want to play solo or with a fire team, the difficulty will scale based on how many people you bring. That is so Before cool. Here we go, one last trip down memory lane. I remember camping out in the that crater for so Destiny 1 because cool. I just had to have the ghost. To me, it was like the symbol of destiny. And if you care about that stuff like me, you're going to want to get your hands on the collection. So a harder version of the campaign. To go up on the shelf. I like it. I like it a lot. Here we go. Special edition goodies. Okay, that's pretty badass. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited for this one. And that's mm -hmm. not even everything that's in there too. I know. Those are the hero items and they're I think one of the best ones that we've that's ever done. Sick. Collector's editions yeah, have so always cool. been like this really perfect jumping point to enter the worlds that we build. And I only thought this stream was gonna be a lifting, short reveal. Like, Jeez, how long has it gone on for? Putting them in players' hands is just it's just a good feeling. We don't just what put else are we items. saying? Everything in there means something, and it helps push the narrative. And there might be some puzzles to unlock in there as well. Sick. So at this point, you can see Savathun has been one of our greatest threats, operating behind the scenes for years. You may have heard of her brother, the Taken King, but Savathun is the most dangerous being in the world. She's cunning, elusive, she works in the shadows, so in a way, Savathun is new to all of us. Exactly, and now it's time to finally see this legend reveal herself and change the Destiny universe forever. But when we talk about the overarching story of Destiny, we don't just mean the plot lines or characters that feature release to release. Narrative is a guiding force in Destiny. And I've missed so much of this story and to catch up on it, man. Bringing that to the forefront and growing it in a bold new direction. So when you join the game today, you'll experience an immediate call to action alongside millions of your fellow Guardians. During this past year, we watched the results of your actions play out across Destiny's seasonal releases. You've redeemed old foes, brought former enemies to the bargaining table, learned that there's always more than one side to every story, and built alliances no one ever thought possible. Yep. On the largest scale, you'll experience a vast, living, interconnected world of stories that's striving to a greater end. We need you, Guardian. You'll experience this Pure alongside goosebumps. a massive community of Guardians, <laughs> release after release, uh, together. This is our universe's cosmic I purpose. I knew this is going to happen. This journey we've been on since Destiny 1, it's drawing to its dramatic new I get sucked The Light and Darkness in. saga will end. But make no mistake, Destiny 2 will not. We're building not so much to an ending, but more to this transformative moment for Destiny 2's future. Last year, we announced the Witch Queen and the following expansion, Lightfall. And oh, yeah. now we're excited to announce the release after Lightfall. Jeez. The final chapter in the Light and Darkness saga, Destiny 2, the final shape. Jeez. It's going to be one wild, continuous the final ride. Final yes. And that ride starts with Season of the Lost. Not only is it the prologue to the Witch Queen, it's your first opportunity to interact with Sabathun. But rather than spoil it for you, why don't we take a look? Okay, let's watch this too. Why not? If we are to survive the coming storm, the tower and the dreaming city must stand united. We are surrounded. Not gonna lie, people, I am hyped. <laughs> Never thought system. I'd say that again. Never thought I'd say that again. The witch queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. We light the pathways of the Ascendant Plane and guide my people back to me. Into the Shattered Realm. There is a malevolent force at work in this plane, Guardian. This will come on this next season then. This season I'm gonna jump back into. See what it's all about. Oh! Oh, when you trace. Oh! What the hell is that thing? 
Oh my day, that's the Arbalest 2.0. That sucks other enemies in. Then he gives off like some void burst of energy. What is going on? Aid the queen. Rescue the last. Perhaps with them I can save us all. Oh yes. Oh man, looks cool too. Wow, that's a long that's a long ass season, man. August 24th to Seasons February 22nd next year. Jesus. To creating an evolving is that how long the seasons are nowadays? Your guardian at the center of the action. We're reaching the end of one journey and the beginning of another. The days of Destiny's biggest story moments happening in lore pages is long gone. I mean, Mara's return has been hinted at forever. And now it's happening. I'm pretty sure the season. last time I played, she was coming back. One of the changes I'm, I'm going to see in the Dream City. Are the updates to the light subclasses every season in year five of Destiny 2? We're adding aspects and fragments similar to Stasis. Oh, that's cool. We'll be starting with the Void subclass update that goes live alongside the Witch Queen. Oh, that's badass. But the Witch Queen is only the beginning of what's to come. And Season of the Lost is the prologue to that story. Upgrading our standard subclasses. That's badass. To the Dreaming we like City, that. We like and that. And with her return, all the awoken technology comes alive. But the Hive God of War, Zebul Wrath, has reemerged and has Guardians and Mara in her sights. Guardians must forge a path through the Ascendant Plane to save Mars' lost coven of witches before Zebul Wrath can reach them. And to aid you in this task, you'll have the Wayfinder's Compass. The, the Wayfinder's is Compass. Past. This is no that your artifact. It's an ancient awoken artifact yep. that gives the wielder the power to uncover. There's no, no land beyond. No, no land beyond. I wish it was no land beyond. Ah, oh, blessed. There's a plethora of new weapons coming, including a suite of legendary Jesus. stasis guns that will stop your enemies cold. Jesus. The armor makes you feel like you're a member oh, of Queen Mars Court. And no that's season badass. is complete without new exotics. And Season of Loss features one once intended for Aldrin. Is that like a stasis? Let's take a moment to talk yeah, about trials. So Trials of Osiris is the end-game aspirational PvP activity and more popular than ever. Two of the it's biggest not good asks from no our more. community have been adding anti-cheat and adding matchmaking. Oh, matchmaking. We're doing both. We've partnered with BattleEye to soft launch the anti-cheat software anti -cheat. when Trials Bat goes time, live no on people, September 10th. Bat also, time. you'll be able to matchmake with groups of players to form fire teams or solo queue by yourself. And we've remixed how I just know how it's going to go. I don't want to go to matchmaking trials. I'm going to get people equally as bad as me. It's going to piss me off more. Game. That's right. We're shifting away from winning matches as a primary way to earn loot, and instead, winning individual rounds and completing matches will allow you to earn some rewards. Mm -hmm. But going flawless hasn't changed. So if you want to flex those PvP skills, the flawless chest will still be the only place to earn adept trials weapons and unique cosmetics. These Pedro Cove's right, websites so are cashing in. <laughs> Destiny begins right after this stream with Season of the Lost. Return to the Dreaming City with Marisov and learn the mystic art of wayfinding. I'm so excited Crossplay is going live today. Oh, yes. And today is your first opportunity to jump into Destiny with friends on any platform from all over the world playing together. Thirty years. Ah, oh, that's my old intro. <laughs> I used this as my intro. Do you remember that, people? Destiny One Days. Wow. Oh, goosebumps. Oh, Halo was the one. Where it all started. That's my first team. Oh, the Xbox 360. Hey, low. Oh, man. Those were the days. As a company that prides itself on taking care of its employees and, and their significant others and their communities and those who are in need. It's pretty devastating as we look at the racism in America, and uh, our intention is to do better. 
and to leave the world in a better place. We want to be a part of that social change. Fuck racism. Yes! We don't Fuck racism. The games that we make, but we really utilize the successes that we've seen to be able to give back in an even greater capacity that spans beyond uh, just the gaming industry. Thank you, Foundation. Thank you. Pressing button. Come on! She can hate on Bungie as much as you like, and I'm one to shit talk him and troll them. There's the legend Deej. What they've done is unreal. You can't take that away from him. Bungie Studios, man. This game is gonna single-handedly destroy my social life, and I can't wait. For many, many years for me. Jeez, I'm glad I was still married. Why is Masters still be a I was glad I was mad at the time, or I was mad to be a virgin. <laughs> I'd still be a virgin, man. All right, Guardian. Time to kick him where it hurts. Uh oh. I ain't, I ain't seen none of that. I ain't seen none of that. <laughs> Galahorn! Galahorn! This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Miss Cade. We all miss Cade. Join us, star side. How do you follow that? Wow. How do you follow that? 30 years, and I, I, I remember when Halo first launched, and my friends and I completed the entire campaign in a single epic play session, and as the credits rolled, I knew that, that Bungie had transformed console gaming forever, yep, and that, that I would be a lifelong fan. Yeah, it changed how we played games, too. I remember getting together with friends for Halo weekend LAN parties. We had so much fun. And 30 years of Bungie games is something special. It's something worth celebrating yes. together. So we're going to have a party in Destiny 2. All right. Starting this December, we are launching the Bungie 30th anniversary celebration in Destiny 2. Free for all players, the 30th anniversary celebration will offer a new six player matchmade activity, secrets to unravel, and rewards There's that can be our that long and storied history together. And that's just the beginning. In addition to the free event, players can also purchase the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack that includes a new treasure-themed three-player dungeon set on the Cosmodrome. New exotic weapons, spells, shit. So players much shit, man. To discover an exciting new Thorm-inspired armor what? and fan favorite new cave dungeon. weapons like Isa Luna and Ice Luna's back. Even has the play modes wow. for the myth. Purchase in the pack a lot of gonna be happy. awesome bungee themed armor ornaments and cosmetics to collect, including ornament sets inspired by the Bungie 30th anniversary celebration and marathon. But the dungeon holds one more secret. The crown jewel of its weaponry is a Destiny 1 classic. Huh. Galahorn <laughs> is making its long awaited debut in Destiny Gallo 2. Galahorn! We're gonna take its Jesus. iconic status to the next level. Galley has They're been putting carefully updated. Everything out of the bag sample. today. So, and December, all we need now is no Lambion. All we need now is no Lambion. Bungie 30th anniversary celebration. But the party isn't only happening in Destiny 2. We've partnered with Nerf Limited to create a functional dart firing Galahorn. Sick. We'll have more on that soon. <laughs> Your all. life, Galahorn. Let's look at some of the incredible loot we've made over the years and a sneak peek of what's coming up. Wow, Lorraine, I can't believe we're celebrating Bungie's 30th anniversary. 30 years. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, look, think of all the games and products that have come out over these years. Yeah, starting Operation Desert Storm, Pathways into Darkness, Marathon, Myth, Oni, Halo. So much, Destiny. Man. Seven years of Destiny. It's an amazing journey. So excited, you know, we have a lot of really cool stuff. I got a lot of those toys. A lot of other things. I got a lot of those collectibles. Course, uh, as always, but yeah. I mean, what do we have? We have the Fallen Captain statue, which is incredible. And then we have the helmet, the Celestial Nighthawk. That thing helmet. is so cool. Yeah. And uh, my that? favorite, the Arcadia jump ship. 
Yeah, I get goosebumps just thinking about that. You know, it really yep. gives me that nostalgia from Destiny 1. And so I think it's a great way that we're going to celebrate not only Bungie's 30-year heritage, but the seven-year heritage of Destiny. Yeah. And it definitely gives you the feels. So much good shit. Thank you for being on this journey with us. Whether it wow. started this year I'm not gonna or lie, 30 people. years ago. We've just started talking about the Witch Queen. I think my ass is getting and back on Destiny then. Crafting, our definitively Destiny campaign, the Glaive, and a year full of updates to all our light-based subclasses. All of this and more is coming alongside Sabathun's long-awaited arrival front and center to the Destiny universe. The Witch Queen marks an acceleration in our story heading toward the conclusion of the Light and Dark Saga, and we're so excited for everyone to join us on this epic adventure in the Witch Queen, Lightfall, the final shape, and beyond. Oh, cool. And the Witch Queen's gonna kick off so another amazing shit. year of Destiny with so four great much. seasons packed with all of the narrative events and rewards that you've come to expect from us. But there's even more coming next year than just our new seasons. The deluxe edition of the Witch Queen will also include two brand new dungeons to be released in 2020. Oh, geez. And we're also going to be remastering another classic Destiny oh, 1 raid geez. and releasing it free for all players. This means going forward, starting this December with our 30th anniversary event, there will be a new piece of raid or dungeon content in the game every three Jesus. months. Jesus. In 2022, we will also be adding legacy rotations for raids and dungeons, meaning every week there will be new ways to earn rewards in both the latest and greatest content and raids and dungeons from the past. Damn. If you love amazing in-game content, we want to prove that no other game offers more quality and more variety than Destiny 2. Much as I hate to we admit, that is that true. We hope you a look into the future of Destiny 2. Witch Queen pre-orders are available wherever you play Destiny. Crossplay is live on all devices and season of the lost kicks off today see you in game gee you know the servers are going to be smoking now those servers are going to be smoking truth is a funny thing who decides what is true i'm hyped people i'm not gonna lie i'm hyped i think people's gonna say it i think people's gonna come out of this video this reaction to this reveal stream. Say no, it's hype, but I'm hype, people. This shit looks good. This shit looks absolutely incredible. Now I might just may as well just start those early streams then. You know what I mean? May as well catch up with you guys playing to get where you can help me out, obviously. I ain't got a clue what I'll be doing. A lot to catch up on. Mind you, it's a new season, isn't it? So I think we're all on an equal playing field now. But yes, I'm guessing that's it. I'm guessing that it. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, I'm hyped. I'm hyped, people. And as Bungie say, I will see you start side. Wow. Wow. Peace out, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And I'll see you soon.